Hello and welcome to another episode of today's Shika. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we are going to discuss about objective questions to help you crack prelims. Now let's begin with the practice question. With reference to the electoral bonds, consider the following statements. Electoral bonds have a maximum limit of rupees 1 crore. The Reserve Bank of India is authorized to issue and encash these bonds. Electoral bonds are only redeemable in the designated account of a registered political party. We have to select the correct statement or statements. Only the third is correct. Option C is the correct answer. Electoral bonds worth Rs. 1,213 crore were sold by the SBI in January, according to Right to Information. Most of them were encashed in the New Delhi branch, pointed towards national parties, while the Mumbai branch sold the most. These bonds are issued in multiples of 1,000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh and 1 crore without any maximum limit. State Bank of India is authorized to issue and encash these bonds, which are valid for 15 days from the date of issuance. These bonds are only redeemable in the designated account of a registered political party and are available for purchase by any citizen of India for a period of 10 days each in the month of January, April, July and October as may be specified by the central government. A person being an individual can buy bonds either singly or jointly with other individuals. The donor's name is not mentioned in the bond. Consider the following statements regarding the Law Commission of India. Law Commission is a statutory body formed under the Legal Reforms of India Act 1951. The Commission is established for a fixed tenure and works as an advisory body to the Ministry of Law and Justice. The recommendation of the Commission are binding on the government. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second statement is correct. The correct answer is option B. Recently, the law minister informed that the new law commission might take up the case of uniform civil code. Law Commission of India is neither a constitutional nor a statutory body. It is rather an executive body which is established, which was established by an order of the government of India. The major functions is to work for the legal reforms and the commission is established for a fixed tenure and works as an advisory body to, to the Ministry of Law and Justice. Its membership primarily comprises legal experts and the Law Commission on a reference made to it by the central government or Suomoto undertakes research in law and review of existing laws in India for making reforms therein and enacting new legislation. The recommendations of the Commission are not binding on the government. They may be accepted or rejected. Moving on. Consider the following statements. The concept of liberty, equality and fraternity in our preamble was adopted by the Constitution of USA. The terms socialist, secular and fraternity were added to the preamble through 42nd Amendment Act of 1976. In the Union Government versus LIC of India case, the Supreme Court has held that preamble is an integral part of the Constitution. We have to select the correct statement. Only the third statement is correct. Option C is the correct answer. Recently, Rajya Sabha debated the use of private bills to amend preamble to constitution. A preamble is an introductory statement in a document that explains the document's philosophy and its objectives. In a constitution, it presents the intention of its framers, the history behind its creation, and the core values of the principle of the nation. The concept of liberty, equality, and fraternity in our preamble was adopted by the French motto of the French Revolution and the term socialist, secular, and integrity were added to the preamble through 42nd Amendment Act of 1976. In the 1995 case of Union Government versus LIC of India, the Supreme Court has held that preamble is an integral part of the constitution but it is not directly enforceable in a court of justice in India. With reference to G's golden langurs, consider the following statement. It is endemic to Western Guards in India. It is categorized as endangered in the IOCN red list of threatened species. So, as we have to select the correct statement, only the second statement is correct. Option B is the correct answer. Neighbors of a golden langur habitat in Western Assam's Bungai Gaon district have opposed a move by the state government to upgrade it to a wildlife sanctuary. G's golden langurs can be mostly, most easily recognized by the color of their fur, after which they are named. It is endemic to Western Assam in India and Southern Bhutan in IUCN list of threatened species. It is categorized as endangered. Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. It is categorized under Appendix 1 and under WPA Act of 1972. Schedule 1 is the category of it. 
consider the following statements pandit bhim sen joshi was awarded padma shri in 2008 he belonged to the school of carnatic music we have to select the correct statement both of them are incorrect option d is the correct answer recently the pm paid homage to pandit bhim sen joshi ji the classical music vocalist on his birth anniversary he was born on february 4th 1922 and received the bharat ratna 2008 he is remembered for his famous ragas including shuddh kalyan miya ki todi puriya dhanashri and multani he belonged to the kirana gharana it got its name from a small town called kerana in uttar pradesh it was founded by ustad abdul karim khan some famous artists are abdul wahid khan suresh babu mane hira bai bado dekar and roshan ara begum He belonged to the school of Hindustani classical music. Consider the following statements. Due to the Chauri Chaura incident, Mahatma Gandhi ji called off the civil disobedience movement. Gandhi justified the calling of the movement on the grounds of his unshakable faith in non-violence. So we have to select the correct statement. Only option B is correct. So on the occasion on the center of the centenary of the Chauri Chaura incident, the PM remembered the heroes of the freedom struggle. Chauri Chaura is a town in Gorakhpur district of Uttar Pradesh. On 4th February 1922 this town witnessed a violent incident a large crowd of peasants set on fire a police station that killed 22 policemen due to this incident Mahatma Gandhi ji called off the non cooperation movement and here it was written civil disobedience movement moving on Gandhi ji on his part justified himself on grounds of his unshakable faith in non violence Historians such as Bipin Chandra ji have argued that Gandhian strategy of non-violence was based on the premise that the use of repressive force against non-violent protesters would expose the real character of the colonial state and ultimately put moral pressure on them but incidents such as Chauri Chaura defeated the strategy with respect to diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympics 2022 consider the following statements countries will not send official government delegations to the event India USA UK and Australia are oh, the only countries who have practiced diplomatic boycott with respect to the event we have to select the correct statement so some countries yes by not sending official government officers to the event it's known as diplomatic boycott so first is correct but second is not option A is the correct answer top US lawmakers applauded India for the diplomatic boycott of the winter olympics in beijing china picked up pla soldier who was a part of the military command that attacked indian soldiers in the galwan valley in 2020 as a torch bearer for the event thus politicizing the event diplomatic boycott means the countries will not send official government delegation to beijing during the games players will continue to be a part of the event the us uk australia new zealand canada japan new and new zealand have written again sorry for that and netherlands are some of the countries who have boycotted the winter olympics diplomatically Scientists have developed self-disinfecting biodegradable masks to combat COVID-19. Consider the following statements in this regard. It is a copper-based nanoparticle coated antiviral face mask. It has been developed by using flame spray pyrolysis process. We have to select the correct statement. Both of the statements are correct. Option C is the correct answer. A team of Indian scientists have developed a self-disinfecting copper-based nanoparticle coated antiviral face mask to fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. and the mask exhibits high performance against covid-19 virus as well as several other viral and bacterial functions infections and is biodegradable highly breathable and washable as well it has been developed by scientists at the international advanced research center for powder metallurgy and new materials it is an autonomous research and development center of the department of science and technology in collaboration with the center for cellular and molecular biology and resil chemicals it is a bangalore based company It has been done so by a flame spray pyrolysis processing facility. This process involves conversion of solution precursors into nano powders by high temperature pyrolytic decomposition. With respect to Vande Bharat, consider the following statements. It is self-propelled as it does not require an engine. It is a semi-high speed train set and each of each are of 10 coaches. It was introduced in the year 2018. We have to select the not correct statement. Second and third are not correct. Option B is the correct answer. In her budget speech, the finance minister announced that 400 Vande Bharat trains will be manufactured in the next three years. Vande Bharat was introduced in 2019. Two Vande Bharat train sets 
are currently running both from Delhi to Varanasi and Katra. It is a semi high speed train set, each of 16 coaches. These are self propelled and they do not require an engine. This is called a distributed traction power system, which is increasingly becoming the norm the world over for passengers' operations. With respect to the cyclone Batsirai, consider the following statements. It has developed near the islands of Papua New Guinea. Batsirai means help. In the Shona language, we have to select the correct statement. Only second is correct. A ferocious cyclone is headed towards Madagascar on the east coast of Africa. Cyclone Batsirai is forecast to hit the Indian Ocean Islands east coast on Saturday with intense winds of 195 km per hour, according to the Department of Meteorology. Now, Papua New Guinea lies in the Pacific Ocean. Batsirai means help in the Shona language and it is spoken in many African countries. Kerala's famed Nehru Trophy boat race will be held in which of the following countries? The correct answer is option D, UAE. The Nehru Trophy boat race, one of the famed events held in Alapuza of Kerala, is slated to be held in Ras Al Khaimah in the United Arab Emirates this year. And the Nehru Trophy boat race is amongst the pioneer snake boat races in Kerala. The name of the water race was coined following Jawaharlal Nehruji's visit to Kerala in 1952. He was so enchanted by the sight of the majestic snake boats that he leapt into one of the snake boats himself, ignoring his security cover. The race will be held on March 27, 2022. Let's move on to the practice question. Consider the following statements. Khanjar is a series of military exercises between India and Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is a Central Asian country bordered by Turkmenistan and China. We have to select the correct statement. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.